Melissa was still crying. I'm sorry, Tom, she mumbled, pushing her face into my chest. I could feel her tears seeping through my shirt. I should have been able to talk to them, but the thumps... It's so strange when they're gone. I'm used to them now. I understood. I understood perfectly. We spent the rest of the day solemnly talking. Not about what we'd do when we got out, but how we possibly could get out. Things weren't normal. The thought that we might get out was beyond us now. We accepted that. We could live like this, at least for a while. Then one day, maybe in a month, or a year, we might use our forks to dig into our wrists. Do they have thumps in heaven? Or hell? Or whatever lies beyond? We got food the next day. The thumps continued. Flashes remained silent. The food was better. Life was good again. Melissa, though, she was shaken. Maybe seeing our captors that had her so on edge, maybe they put something in her head. The flashes, I thought. Is it possible that they left my head and went to hers? Crazy, but crazier things had happened here. Every day, Melissa got more nervous, more agitated. I couldn't understand. I tried to talk to her about it, but she wouldn't answer my questions. She just looked at me, shook her head. Nothing's wrong, she would say. I'm just... tired. This is denial. It happened on day 20. We fell asleep, woke up, and ate our food. We went about things as usual. I didn't know. If I had, I, I would have done something. Suffering alone is a thousand times worse than suffering with a friend. I was finishing my dessert, and Melissa did it quick as lightning. She stabbed herself hard in one wrist. Then the other. Then she shoved it in her mouth. She jammed it in her throat, pulling, pushing grinding it in there, trying desperately to kill herself to end it. One wrist was bright red, but it hadn't drawn blood. The other, she'd stabbed harder. Much harder. It had holes in it, and the holes were pretty deep. Leaking. Pouring blood. Blood was trickling out of her mouth, and when I'd thrown down my food and reached out to stop her, she kicked me in the chest. I fell against the wall, and she'd been stabbing, cutting, choking with the fork. I didn't even realize I was screaming. The thumps had joined together by this point, making constant noise. Eventually she slowed, tried to force the fork down her throat. She was gagging and choking and retching. It didn't come out. I got to her and pushed her arms away and reached in, but it was too far down at this point. Too far. My only companion dying. She died quickly. Between the blood and the choking, I... I don't know what killed her. I didn't care. I... I cried the rest of that day. I felt like doing the same thing. I thought maybe I would the next day. Maybe I'd join her again. At least I wouldn't have to be alone. The next day, however, it didn't work out like that. I waited... I waited, and eventually the blackout came, and I was eager to kill myself after a delightful meal. I just hoped I wouldn't mess it up. I'd hate to be half dead on the floor, pissing and shitting myself, alone, for who knows how long. Fortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to mess it up. I woke up outside. It was dark. This wasn't right. No... I whispered. No one was in sight, but I could see the light from a town in the distance. I was out. I'd made it out of my concrete prison. No. 
This was panic. This was change. I'm not ready for this. The thumps were gone, but things had changed. Adaptation. Conditioning. The thumps were gone. The flashes were back. Evolution. I wasn't used to the silence. It was driving me mad. The flashes didn't help. I knew what would make the flashes go away, though. The thumps. The thumps, they would keep the flashes at bay. Make me comfortable again. That was all I needed. They'd been teaching me how to make the thumps. They'd been teaching me since day one. I just had to. I grimaced, not wanting to think about it, but I needed the thumps. What did I have to lose, anyway? My only companion was gone. I stood. And I headed for the town in the distance. <laughs>